Well, I totally made the mistake of thinking that only a strong, confident man would be attracted to an independent woman like me. Wrong. There's a lot of men who love independent, strong women. Either A, so that they can be hobo schedules and mooch off of them like parasites. I literally dated a hobo. A hobo rode the rails for nine years. It literally moved into my apartment while I was on vacation. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't get him out. And or, because it's sometimes both. They want a strong, independent woman because we are a conquest. They get off on bringing you down, which is exactly what Steve was. One of my favorite creators on this app pointed out, and I'll tag her. Steve, King Baby, like a lot of men, sabotage independent, strong women because they can't handle it. They can't handle, they, you being strong makes them feel weak. But I think some go a step farther than like Steve's out there where they get off on it. It's not just because they can't handle it, they get off on it. My ex, I was like, there's no way this man wouldn't be attracted to me if he was intimidated by me. On some level, I thought it was a safe bet, just, you know. First of all, I wasn't ever planning on like falling in for him. You know, it was just like flirting at first. But I fell into his spell. And I thought, well, I'm an educated woman, he's not, he's a, he's a idiot. He doesn't even have a driver's license or a social security card, like literally homosexual, like extreme. He had, <laughs> he literally had a backpack, a banjo, <laughs> and a hammock. <laughs> he was literally homeless when I started officially dating him because he moved out of the house that his, of his girlfriends who he didn't tell me about <laughs> until it was too late. He might as well have had been like a cartoon with like a stick and like a, you know what I mean? Like a hobo. <laughs> You know, I had just moved back to New Mexico from New York. I was on podcasts. I had a literary agent. Like, my career was set to take off. And because he listened to some of my podcasts of me, like, banging a bunch of dudes, I was like, oh, cool, he can handle me. No. Not only could he not handle me, he got off on breaking me. And I actually realized it once towards the end, because not only did this man stall my career for almost a year and, you know, almost end my life and ruin me financially and, you know, all that other stuff. Towards the end, he thought he was a cowboy. <laughs> he took me to this ranch and the way he treated horses, I was like, <gasps> oh my God, I'm the horse. This man saw me as a wild horse and he literally wanted to break me in and he got off on it. I did not know until I dated that man just how dangerous insecure men are. My father was an insecure man, therefore, you know, danger. But whole new level with this man I dated. Because insecure men who also are violent and like, it's all about power, they don't care what the consequence is for breaking you. It's almost like it was his mission in life because there was a long line of women behind me and I'm sure he's still doing it. Because the cops suck and let him get away.